Matthew Golden from Port Albert. I'm a fifth generation fisherman. I've lived here all my life, uh, Fish Corner Inlet. It's changing dramatically everywhere you look. The waterways are basically starting to sand up a little bit and there's not a lot of grass about. From uh, 2011, uh, there's been a change in the seagrass. It, there's not as much broadleaf. Need it for the fish to come to live, somewhere for them to hide out of the, out of the way. When the fish come in from the entrances, they are looking for the seagrass. There is a number of areas that need to be uh, rehabitated. So if there's more seagrass, there's more fish. The Corner Inlet Broadleaf Seagrass Restoration Project is a world first partnership between Landcare and the commercial fishing industry. The 18 licence holders from Corner Inlet are working with the Yarram Yarram Landcare Network and partners from the academic community to restore 200 hectares of broadleaf seagrass, which is also known as Posidonia Australis. So we've just arrived to Port Albert Lead, which is to the southeast of Sunday Island. We're going to be putting in 46 sandbag snakes. We're laying them across the tide movement. So the reason for doing that is that it will create areas of slack water or eddies where when the tide comes and goes, we'll be here later and we'll put seedlings into those little areas of slack water and that'll stop them from moving in or out. And they can actually establish themselves in the water um, as they naturally would. The thing that excites me most about this project is empowering people to actually be able to make positive change. So the whole community can embrace and become involved in this project. We have people from all sorts of walks of life that are incredibly interested. We're hoping that the methods that we can develop here today will influence the way in which seagrass is restored tomorrow. Not just here in Victoria, but commercial fisheries right around Australia and we look at the global network of seagrass restorers, there's no reason why the knowledge that we gather can't be shared internationally as well. I've been fishing in Corner Inlet for nearly 20 years and uh, it's such a great fishery, it produces so many great table fish. It is one of the wonders of the world. 